Ryan Holland via the Coward Global Satellite Network is joining us tonight. He is wearing a very nice crushed velvet. Now, where did you get that coat? That is Stella. Where'd you get it? Hey, this, is, this is a one-on-one, baby. Oh, you, you're only going to find this on the opinionated seven-footer, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it. First of all, I want your opinion on the documentary. Um, a lot of people felt like it made Michael Jordan more popular. Um, it showed certainly some flaws and some grudges and some pettiness, which we don't see a lot of that with LeBron. That's kind of not how he rolls. What was your takeaway overall on somebody who's played in the LeBron era but watched a lot of basketball in the MJ era? Uh, it just reassured me that LeBron James is the greatest athlete that we have ever seen play the game of basketball. Uh, I already understood how dominant Michael was, how hard he worked. And if you look at your GOAT list and you say, who was the most dominant LeBron can't question what Michael Jordan did. He was undefeated in the NBA Finals. But when I look at the path that Michael Jordan took, when I look at the path that LeBron James took, Michael Jordan was, I mean, he, he was fed into greatness. I mean, think about it. His older brother whooped on him in the backyards. His dad was hard on him. Then after that, he goes to uh, North Carolina. He plays with the top 50 greatest player of all time in James Worthy. Dean Smith, for God's sakes, is his coach. Then he falls upon Phil Jackson and goes on to win six championships, two three-peats. LeBron James had none of that. And I understand it, the big fault of what LeBron James, when it came to the media of going and playing in South Beach, all we looked at and all we saw is the, the, the decision and that we saw that he teamed up with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. But in all reality, LeBron James understood he had to go somewhere and learn how to win. After LeBron James learned how to win, what these championships were about, I look at LeBron James, LeBron goes to Cleveland, gets one on his own, and amidst an NBA that's always changing, moving, competing, and free agency, Michael Jordan didn't have to deal with that. And the cards that LeBron James were dealt, I'm looking at him again, and I'm having a deeper respect for LeBron James, Colin. Well, no, I, I totally get that. And I, you know, I've said if that was the last dance for LeBron, I would call this season the last chance. It's not a good mm. draft. It's not a big free agent year. And the cap is coming down. He there's no and this is an old roster. So to me, Ryan, this is a this is a strange sort of physical break for LeBron. The older LeBron 17th year just got two months off and we know he's in an impeccable shape. Uh, you know, Anthony Davis, by the way, can be at times brittle. Two months off, he'll be in the best late season shape of his life. I kind of feel like, though, Ryan, there's no free agency help on the horizon. The Lakers don't want to go over the cap, and it's coming down. It's a weaker than average draft. I kind of feel like this is LeBron's opportunity to get a title. I don't know if it exists in a year from now. Your thoughts? Colin, that's an excellent point. Uh, when I look about at LeBron James, a guy that I competed against for my uh, entire NBA career, and, and, and don't talk about that story Celtics game where he goes off and he becomes the king and we were up 3-2 and thought we had a championship in hand. But LeBron James, I, we're, we're the same age. I give him a two-year window in which we can still see LeBron James where he, he was a peak freak athlete, but now he's a great athlete in the NBA and he's got the mental game. These are the golden years for an NBA player, right where LeBron James is because he's still athletic and he's got the mental smarts, the wherewithal, and the championship experience. Guys, this could be set up any more for LeBron James to win the championship. Let's, let, let's be honest. The Clippers were the favorites going into this thing. But with COVID-19, who's it going to favor? COVID-19 is all about LeBron James. Why? He's got more experience than anybody in the entire league at winning championships, at playing in an NBA Finals. Not just that, LeBron James saw the moments and a guy that you just brought up, Colin, he's obsessive about his body. He, he's probably got a, a home gym, a weight room, a sauna. Who, who knows what's going on in LeBron's place? But in all reality, he's working out and he understands the severity of not anybody. And keep in mind, you know, LeBron James was watching that last dance and said, oh, okay, Michael, I'm looking to one-up you, baby. I'm looking to one-up you now. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about that. By the way, there's a lot of things. There's reseeding. There's a play-in tournament. There's start the playoffs. There's all these options now being presented. As a player, if you were playing today, what would you prefer? Would you prefer seven, eight regular season games to get ready? Let's just go to the postseason uh, group stage. As an athlete, what do you think is the best for the players going forward? 
here's the reality, man. When I played, I knew how important training plan practice was. And especially when you get later up in age, you value all of the little things, just going up against physical contact, going in and, and, and banging somebody physically in the game and going into a workout. I'm sure all these guys right now that I've talked to are doing non-contact workouts. So by the time you actually get into a game and get contact, that's going to be a week or so of preparedness. Colin, here's the reality. I remember the Celtics team I played on, we made it to the Eastern Conference Finals. We didn't start peaking until after the All-Star break. So we were just about three quarters of the way through the season before we actually played our best basketball. These are things that we would talk about in the locker room. So now you've just gone back and reset all of this. So we may see some sloppy basketball. And the one thing you're going to see when the NBA gets started again, the veteran teams, mark my words, the veteran teams will have the advantage because they've been training, they've been working, and it's going to come down to experience in these moments. While these young guns don't need too much to go ahead and get ready and be prepared, but it's a different type of game. I mean, shoot, some of these rookies probably forgot all the plays in the playbook already, Colin. <laughs> They're going to be figuring things out on the run. Do you buy, like Shaq said, it'll be an asterisk season regardless of the winner? Oh, man. I, hey, listen, I, I love the big fella, but he, he, he's trying to double down on his own championships. When I look at, and remember San Antonio, who won the championship within a lockout year, I don't look at it any different. But, Colin, if we're going to find an asterisk, it's not going to be COVID-19, but the asterisk will be similar to last year's NBA Finals because, listen, uh, unless you were a Warriors hater, you were just tired of them, or you were a Toronto Raptors fan, we all know last year's NBA Finals had a huge asterisk. No Kevin Durant. No Clay Thompson, okay? And, and then Steph Curry's getting boxed in one, trying within two. So in all reality, unless we see LeBron, Giannis, or Kawhi go down, there's going to be an asterisk on the NBA champion this year. Love your there red. Be, excuse me. There won't be unless. Yeah. Love your red jacket. It's great seeing you again. I'd like to get you back into the studio. And, uh, My man. I appreciate you stopping by on a Friday for us, buddy. Anytime, man, and if you guys get a chance, man, check out the Seven Footers Opinionated Podcast. we got some special guests on there. It's myself and Brendan Haywood. Appreciate you, Colin. All right. Thanks, Ryan Holland, joining us today. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.